Are you ready for a return to the liquid, white-hot excitement that is Deep Fear? Starring this throbbing coalition, coalescence of charisma, John Mayer. He is here to charm the hell out of you while, uh, I mean, we can pretend. So last time we spoke with, um, the designer of the station and I, you know, it's kind of hard to tell what he was saying. But what he was saying, what he was saying is that we needed to, uh, to take the big gym out to a location where I think we, we could get maybe C4. And here is the big... Oh, man, we need to get the password. Does he, I want, does he repeat the password to us? Is he going to say what the password is again? Because he, we had, like, a conversation where he said there was a password that we needed to get into, like, a closet where, like, the C4 was. And... I'm curious to know if he gives it to the... If he gives that to you again, or is that, like, the one time he will ever say it to you? You see, that's the thing I'm kind of wondering about. It seems like sometimes when you get information from someone, they never tell you it again. So if, say, we missed the password the first time around, let's say, would he repeat it? Okay, he does. 3742. Okay. Okay. We, you know the soundscape of Deep Fear by now. Let's uh, play something to maybe get a little excitement going. There we go. For John Mayer, li life is beautiful when you're under the sea. He loves it here. Look, you're in the ocean, away from society, away from your guilt at killing your fiance. It's just you and the ocean and Big Jim. What more could you want? All right, watch out for the fish. The fish can bite us through this metal suit, apparently. Alright, we did not go to the right. So I believe it's down here. Is that a dead big gym? It's a damaged big gym. Oh, Fujiyama! Fujiyama didn't make it! Does he have anything? That no, doesn't seem so. Alright, Fujiyama did try to take the big gym, and I guess he was killed by fish, is what I'm getting here. Three, seven, four. Nope, not. Three, seven, four, two. Man, if you wonder why that has to be a password, like if you were able to go all the way and get the Big Jim suit, surely you must have authorization to be here. It's Big Jim. Oh, blood is splattered inside it. Oh, something down there. Shell box. Life is beautiful when you're finding dead bodies in the Connection Park. All right, 
right, what do we got? Weapon card for submachine gun B. Okay. Is that an air grenade? That might have been an air grenade. Someone there? Who, who are you? John Mayer, ERS. <laughs> Can't get away from you. It's me, McCoy. Colonel McCoy? Stay where you are. Listen from there. The time I have left is short. N no. Yes. My body is being taken over by a creature. <laughs> I can't remember. I... this is called Iron Fist. I'm reaching my end. <laughs> John, there's something I want to tell you. What? About Stella. At the time of the accident, you probably tried all you could to save her. Yes. These three years, I... Needed to talk to you, but if I did, I would blame myself for letting you and Stella go. <coughs> Colonel McCoy. Don't come any closer. I don't want you to see me like this. I always thought of you as a brother. I wanted to give this to you after you and Stella got married <laughs> it's a cult I'm M1991 A1 it's from my father's generation the pride of a strong America I wanted to give you this Okay, go. Iron Fist is gonna take his last shot. What are, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna blow this place. Get out of here. Done. Kill a creature for me. Ah, uh, Colonel McCoy forgave John for killing his sister. And we obtained a, a cult government. Is that the name of the gun? Is this like the magnum of the game? It's a, it's a shame that John never got to get this as a wedding gift. Well, we got the C4. I guess we're just going back now. So why why couldn't we have played as McCoy? He just seems like a more interesting character than John. I mean, everyone in this game seems like a more interesting character than John. These fish are more interesting. Oh, hold on. Taking you with me, damn monster!
We'll always re remember Colonel McCoy and the important part he had in our lives. Can John get over this? Well, the only thing he can do right now is use the C4. And the only thing we can do right now is play some music and see what comes up. This music makes me think of the idea that it's kind of unclear who or what the villain in this game is supposed to be. Like, is it supposed to be our commanding officer or what? Like, there's... You think there's probably a villain at some point. It just... It just really kind of hasn't been. I mean, we have played games where that's happened before. Uh, something that comes to mind was Blue Stinger, in which there technically was, like, a villainous organization, but everyone was dead, and we never actually met anyone from it. So maybe that's, like, and maybe that's the way this game will go. Where... It's just, you know, monsters created by bacteria. You know, I don't know. I don't know what the... There's no villain. It's just monsters. Alright, do we use... Like, where do we use the C4? Is it like... Is it here where, like, the jam is? Well, no, I can't actually look at that. Well, the only thing I seem to be able to look at is this panel. A plastic explosive. Even a little bit is quite powerful. Nothing happened. All right. Let's, uh... Let's ask Dubois. Where should this be set? Because we need... Like, we need to turn... Turn something on, but it's all jammed up. That's why we got the C4. So we can blow up the jam. And get the coolant going. So the base doesn't melt down. I'm just trying to remember the details of what we're doing at the moment. All right, Dubois, what do I do with this bomb? Dubois, I got the C4. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Put the C4 in the pump, but there's nothing to detonate it with. We have to find something that could send a strong electric current. An electric current? Oh, yes, that's right. Put the C4 on the cooling tank panel. Tear apart the panel and expose the wiring. That way, an electric current can run from here. You're a genius. <laughs> oh, no, he's coughing. Time. Go and place the C4 on the coolant tank. Okay, stay put. Man, this game's going to have no survivors, is it? Another character doomed for doomed to have monsteritis. So we said to put it on tear apart the panel and use the electricity there. Here's the panel. Make sure I'm looking at it. There it is. There we go. Uh. 
Huh. Just plug that mass of wires in there. That's how that's how C4 works, I'm pretty sure. Gotta be electricity going through something. The C4 is explosive have been set. I just need to detonate it. So turn on electricity. Let's ask Dubois how we do that. Should we be like standing here when we blow it up? Like we should be we should be like traveling further away from the blast site. I'm not sure. I did as you told me. Oh, oh, the last thing to do is to escape. John, can I push the detonator? The building is like my child. I have to do it. It's all yours. Oh, we did it! The temperature is falling! See, maybe we, we have to escape. Maybe we should have thought of this. Jim is damaged. There's a tunnel that leads to the big table. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I can't go in this condition. Don't give up. <laughs> I've made up my mind, John. Get out of here. I don't want to hurt you. I will open the tunnel door for you with the remote. But, but hurry and go. Okay, that's that's the quote of the game right here, right there. That's it. <laughs> we'll never forget Dubois. All right, uh, we're all very sad about it. So what, what, okay, let's see what the next track is. What might be appropriate music? I don't, I'm not sure if this is appropriate, but. I mean, Dubois was a man of science. Maybe he'd appreciate it. Did it turn me around? Oh no, it, it is actually a boss fight. No, we can leave. Okay, we can leave. All right, we, we were just able to leave the room. I wonder if there was a reason to fight him. Still no music, huh? Seems like it's a pretty dramatic moment. All right. What is this? What? <laughs> Dubois still coming. Hold on. I'm unsure what track this is, but there's like a music happening right here in the game. Okay, no, there's mu not music happening. I'll turn the music back on. I 
I've obtained a resuscitation kit. We'll go to the... Okay, we're at the sea farm. We know where this is. So I guess uh, Dubois is going to be wandering around. Is there music starting or not? Emergency. Emergency. The pressure within the base is low. There is danger of an explosion. All staff on base should follow the emergency escape manual and leave immediately. Alright, so I guess we're going to be forced to finally escape. You know, everyone... Been kind of, uh... Like, the whole idea is that we're supposed to be escaping. We're supposed to be finding the survivors so we can escape. And, uh, I don't know. Just hasn't really turned out like that. It seems like, it feels like music just keeps turning on and off. Is, like, Dubois appearing? Wait, is this where I came from? That's hard to tell. Everything looks the same. Yeah, yeah. The oh, yeah, there, there's Dolphin Girl. John, I was so scared. There was this monster. Sharon, I'm glad you're safe. What about the dolphins? They're still in the pool. The last lever wouldn't budge. But you're back, and I feel safe now. All right, John. We have to hurry and set the dolphins free. Wait, Sharon! Oh no, Sharon! Sharon! Be careful. The dolphins. Please save them. Come on, Sharon. Let's go back to land together. When you get back. What? Would you have an ice cream with me? Of course. Is she dead? Is this the cow? Oh, okay, I'm gonna take your key. I, I guess she's dead. So yeah, there aren't gonna be any survivors except John? We got the key to her room. I guess we should go in there. Oh, hold on. No? no? What's happening with the music? It feels like, it seems like music just starts and then actually just stops instantly. I don't know what's happening there. We got this key. Key to Sharon's room. It's a key to Sharon's room. Is there music in Sharon's room? No, there's not. Is that coming from, like, the track I'm playing? Oh, what's that? Among the pictures of dolphins, there's a picture of myself! Is 
there anything else to be found in here? I'm just like, slide. Oh, we got the diary. Okay. Sharon's diary. March 27th. Life's so bo- Life's so boring now. My work with my camera isn't heading anywhere. There's nowhere to go to have fun. I should have never come here. I still have two months to go. Oh, I recall Mookie saying something about a new ERS chief. I hope he's good looking. March 28th. I think this is what they call love at first sight. John Mayer, the new ERS chief. I just love his eyes. I just couldn't help staring into them and forgot to introduce myself. How stupid of me. Mr. Meyer, do you have a girlfriend? What type of girl do you like? I have so many questions I want to ask you, mostly about girls. Most make March 29th. When I tried to talk to Mr. Meyer, he told me to call him John today. I'm so happy! John! 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 And also, I took many pictures of him at rescue practice when he wasn't looking. How a time flies when you're in love and spying on someone. March 30th. Today, we had a fire drill. We had to follow Mr. Dubois' manual, but it was a mess. John seemed to be very busy. I couldn't talk to him at all. Andrew didn't seem to be doing well. I had to stay with him and the rest of the dolphins all night. March 31st. John seemed to be too busy today as well. He was running around the big table. I wonder when I'll be able to talk to him next. Hopefully when I'm dying. Mookie came by a while back and I told him how I felt. He promised me he'd set up an April Fool's joke so we get a chance to talk. How sweet of him. I'm supposed to be drowning and Mookie's going to call John. Hopefully John will give me mouth to mouth. I'm so nervous. I hope he doesn't get mad. And okay, now we, got, we set up the backstory of Sharon. She was in love with John. I mean, you can tell. I mean, you can understand how a girl could fall for a man like John Mayer. The sexual magnet that is John Mayer. And by the way, this track, it looks like it's from Anno 2070, called God Smiles. Or as, as we might know it now, the theme of Sharon. Theme of Sharon, Sharon's love. The love theme of Deep Fear. Go! Or Sharon's life will be wasted. Now it's a, a track from Super Crate Box. It's basically the same thing. Sharon, this is what you wanted, isn't it? Wow, all we had to do was just tell the dolphin to go, and it did. Alright, so we're heading back the way we came. I guess we're going to the CCD area to get to the SEAL Team Submersible. That's what I assume we're doing. Oh, hold on. You found Anthony. Yes. Are we clear from the meltdown danger? Yes. But I couldn't save everyone. I couldn't save anyone! You're doing wonderful, John. Don't get down on yourself. Oh no! We're all together. Anthony is in a bad mood, so I'm going to head back to the ERS room. Okay, Jim. Thanks. You're welcome. I forgot to tell you. The monsters. About the parasite cells. What? 
They're alternating generations and seem to be definitely evolving. Evolving? Let's get out of here. Yeah. How much longer will the base last? The air unit is broken, so the atmospheric pressure has gone crazy. A couple of hours, maybe less. Well, either way, I'm heading for the Navy area. Be careful. You too. Yeah, but why are you going there? Also, we're not going to mention that everyone who gets sick turns into a monster. I'm going down to the Navy area, no matter what anyone said. Oh, because she's there. Should we mention she's, um, she's a monster? Should we say, like, we're the only one, like, John Mayer is the only one who knows that, right? We probably should mention something about that. No? All right, next music track. See you, Danny. Dubois has to come back, right? Like, we can't just actually avoid fighting a boss, right? Like, you think so. Actually, is that the elevator going up? Yeah. This is heading back to the, the floor that we started on. Where our room is. I assume this is where... I assume we should be going back here, then to the dock. See if there's anyone around. Clancy, are you in your room? There's a monster in the room. But that's about it. All right. This is this is what we got next. Anyone in the conference room? It wasn't just a dream, was it? He really was here, right? I think. I mean, as usual, he was here when we needed him most. But it was different this time. No, only monsters in here. Good morning. Quixotic vision, I can. I can touch. I, I can feel. If only Rem Lazar was on the big table, he would have solved all this. And I can see. Why? You needed me. Clancy, are you in here? From within your mind, no one else can find the life that you inspire. From another place, not from outer space, from some place even higher. Well, and we know Dubois is not in here. Believe in yourself. Or could he be? Believe in yourself. Do anything. From within your mind, no one else can find the life that you inspire. No, he's not in here. Place, not from outer space, but from some place even higher. Oh, look at all these bullet holes. It's been broken by some sort of bullet. It won't open. What? 
why has our uh, room been broken by some kind of bullet? Turn that down a bit. All right, now John Meyer is getting into the swing of things. Hold on, let's. We. I mean, we don't know what the weather's like. We're under the sea. Let's go back down and see if we can go to the dock. Wait, what if this bacterial outbreak was caused by Big looking for Froggy? He unleashed it. He went to the bottom of the sea looking for Froggy. Froggy? Oh, where did my Pollywog pal get off to now? Oh, I can't save on that one. I need to get them back at the people in Washington who treated me like a criminal. The survivors. I can't let them live. Squelch. Alright, well, so much for Clancy. He's just uh, being thorough, isn't he? He's just making sure. like Clancy betrayed us. I knew it. Hurry up and come to the docking area. There's no time to lose. I'll go with Danny to the Navy area and wait for help. Go ahead. I'll protect you. Okay. All right. Clancy's down. But at least uh, Dr. Wife found the chimp. All right. Uh, we're going to the Navy area. Where, where was that? We're in the CCD area. 
there's the Navy area. Did we get there through the apartments? I mean, apart like that doesn't look like it from where we're looking at them on the map. Okay, so we know it's not energy unit. We know it's not gondola. I don't think it's junk area. Little shark? No. Medical? I don't think so. Navy. Seabed? No, we we came from seabed. Sea farm? We came from sea farm. Sea fox? I mean, I guess that's why we're going there. Well, no. See, that was the sub that went down into the trench, wasn't it? Back at the beginning? Air unit. That's destroyed. Apartments. CCD. That's where we are. Um, connection park area, which uh, we came from there. D network area, that's where we got the big gym. Docking area was... Where did, where, where did we get, when did we go through that? Man, I know we've been in the Navy area. I cannot remember how we got there. Uh, I cannot remember the path we took to get to the Navy area. Okay. Uh, can we go back up to our room? For some reason that door was locked because of bullets. Okay, we can. I wonder where there, there was a reason that the door was like that. Well, I mean, oh, is this note different? No, guess not. Might as well stock up on these. We cannot hold any more. Okay, maybe we're just gonna go through the, like, the apartments are right next to us. Maybe we'll go through though go through those and see if we can get to the Navy area through that. Let's try it and let's uh oh yeah, that's right, we can't go through there. Well, let's turn on some music and see what we get. It got a track from Iridian 2. Sounds like a track that should actually be in a game like this. If you know, this game had music. Which usually it doesn't feel like having. Oh, no, okay. Gate to the apartments is damaged. We cannot go there. All right, well, I mean, at least that's eliminating that option. I guess we're just going back the way we came. Okay, here's docking. So I guess we're returning back to the place where we uh, spoke with Danny.
No, hold on. We got something. Where's Danny? Anthony ran away again. Danny said he'll bring him back. Oh. You should be at the table. Okay. I've had it with him. He bit me, and he's a troublemaker. Go over to your owner. Okay, I'll push the button in the control room. Wait, and I'll get on it right away too. All right, yeah, it was this big elevator. That's where the that's went went down to the navy area. That's right. Danny, I'm sorry. I, I should have mentioned that. I don't know why I didn't mention that. Danny! Danny, Anna's a monster. Mayor! Damn it. Stay still. He's, he's not moving. Stay away. Mayor, you go down. I, I guess I'll leave. That's the way Danny wants it, I guess. Anna, it's the first time you've ever come to me. How romantic. All right, Danny's down. So John and Dr. Wife really are the last two. Oh, I forgot about the dog. So, so far we are on track for John actually being the only survivor. Maybe that dog survives too. Maybe. No words. No words are needed. In fact, John, I feel like this elevator ride should never end. It's just you and me and these two animals. And I feel like with you, me, and this elevator, I feel like we're just going to keep going down this shaft. Maybe for the rest of our lives, John. I, feel, I, I don't want it to ever end. Because what, what will we find at the bottom of this elevator shaft, John? Will it just be monsters? More people turned into abominations, ready to kill us? As long as this elevator ride doesn't end, John, then it's just you, and it's just me, and this monkey and dog. And I feel good about that, John. I feel good about that. I kind of wish it would never end. Because as long as we 
never reach the bottom of this of this elevator shaft. We never have to face our deep fear. <laughs>